Hey everybody, thank you for coming out for FC Blockbuster. Um, the whole idea behind the initiative is to go beyond Bollywood and to bring really great non-Hindi films to Mumbai. And uh, do pay attention to the tagline because every fine film is a blockbuster. <laughs> We are very proud of that tagline. Okay, and we're very proud to kick this off with Virus, um, which is just this amazing medical thriller. So, you know, the medical thriller is not a is is not a sort of popular genre in in india um ashik and what amazed me was how it combined sort of this very natural feel with the drama and with the kind of suspense of fiction so there was a documentary and a sort of fiction element going on how did you arrive at the tonality of it hi good afternoon uh, good evening oh, sorry <laughs> good evening yeah <laughs> <laughs> I completely lost the time and uh, so all these things happened in our state so we just had to uh, follow what what all happened in our state and we made a movie out of it so entire inspiration was our state our people our medical team our uh, administration our uh, district collector the virologists the community medicine doctors uh yeah how do three writers collaborate on a script how did it work <laughs> this is how it works you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we pass the mic you know so. no tell me so you were the first one in how what was the chronology of events who did you reach first ashik to say first, you write it first it was him hmm. and then um, <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Th thing is that I, I was there in Calicut during this snip outbreak, and so, so uh, we were in connection uh, connection that uh, during that time in uh, regarding uh, a different project, and so um, we go talking about it. His cousin uh, was working yeah. there. Yeah. So your cousin was actually working at the medical college. Yeah. And uh, is that where a lot of the information came from? Yeah, I. I kind of had uh, this uh, opportunity to get the first hand information from the uh, medical college and uh, and the administration as well because uh, i was uh, uh, i was residing uh, near to the guest house you know where um, these uh, officials camped during this outbreak and so uh, uh, one, uh, two of my friends were working there uh, as volunteers as well so uh, i was pretty much connected with this guy so <laughs> so i got first hand information from the uh, and uh, so when i got up uh, when i got talking with ashik he, he, he initiated this idea of making it a movie and uh, i i knew that uh, <laughs> uh, i couldn't uh, I, i wouldn't be able to bring it out alone <laughs> why why did you feel that okay you just uh, watch some movie right <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, suhas and sharfu uh, were those came in my mind so they were, they were in <laughs> okay and how what was the actual process um who, like who wrote and who was the sounding board i mean how, how do three people do this i know that, that that's our trade secret you know <laughs> 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 no it just worked you know we, we are friends and so it was easy for us we've been friends yeah, for a long yeah, long time works, you know? how how do the divide work? yeah the investigation part especially uh and they divided the work and mohsin was uh, creating the uh, the the total arc of the this thing and yeah so and uh, sharfu did uh, all the uh, digits how many people yeah. where it happened how yeah, maths well, both of us are very bad at maths so but <laughs> <laughs> aren't both of you engineers yeah. oh i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> we were not supposed to talk about that here yeah, both are engineers yeah. they are potential yeah. right yeah. he actually left the job from bsnl huh. yeah giving the government money <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> but you know this film is also a sort of 
just in terms of star cast, it's staggering the number of people who you have in here. And, and uh, you know, I was just thinking if some producer in Mumbai had to put together an equivalent cast, they would age exponentially. Uh, so, so Rima as co-producer and you as co-producer, how did you get all these people into the frame? Uh, I think it's, it's the subject itself. Um, like you said, it was very recent in, in, in social memory, what had happened. And also, um, the fact as to how we came out of it, the heroic stories behind it, um, the stories of fear, the loss, um, and um, how even in spite of all the danger, um, you know, normal, normal people who, 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 who you would think are very normal, how they rose to the occasion. And we were reading about it, um, like right from the health minister to the administration wing to the medical staff on ground, the great four workers, you know, putting everything they have uh, at risk and, you know, rising to the occasion. It was, it was unbelievable we were all reading about it in newspapers we were we were listening to the news channels every other evening and i think all of us were inspired you know i think it, it all it took us to another space and i would say every actor who worked with us in this movie um everybody came with that thought in mind that you know we need to say the story we need to put it out there for everybody to to know, like, you know, w when we're screening it in Bombay today, we it's our people, it's the stories of our people. And I think every actor who enacted each character knew about it and knew that deep inside when they came together for this project. Um, like like Parvati, too. there were so many actors. I don't think even one of them were insecure about um, whose role was bigger. Yeah, did nobody say, nobody. I need one more, like, smashing scene? Because every <laughs> single person is a hero in here, you know. Right. Everybody, there, even if it's the smallest of contribution, everybody is a hero. So I think nobody really had that problem. <laughs> they just came together and let's do this. <laughs> Parvati, when you do a film like this as an actor, where it's not about the duration, it's really about the impact that you need to create, how do you do it when you only have that many scenes? I, I think it's all about the team. For me, I've said this before and I'd say this again, Virus is so far like the best set I've worked in every department possible when it comes to direction, camera, writers, co-actors. Um, it was one of the most secure set for me to go into. And what Rima told me on the first day, I, I, I um, very unusual of me, usually I get about at least a month or maybe at least a week before I get into a new, new set. I got two days before I got into a new set and I had played a very different character from a different thing. So I was very insecure when I walked in. But Rima said that these, these are writers who would cater to each actor's process in a different way. So I'm someone who needs a lot of details and a lot of information, and they had it all. So whichever actor needed it, they are there to give it. And so that that was really secure for me. Every co-actor who was there, like the intention of coming together to tell such a story. Um, I remember Ashik and Rima told me about this project while the flooding was happening last year. And that's another point of, that was a life-changing experience for us. Like, that kind of a uh, deluge had not happened in Kerala for probably more than three decades or like hundreds, I, I don't know. Um, so when we got together, we were all in that space of vulnerability. You know, we were all together and we are seeing death at su such, you know, mass levels. And so when he told me such a story is there and there is a doctor, I didn't even know there was something called community medicine up until then because only clinical doctors are given, you know, a lot of respect and value. But at this point, for such an epidemic, um, clinical doctors can't do anything about it. That's when the government and community medicine doctors become more like anthropologists. Like they have to study what human behavior is and then map it out. So this became like an investigation. And yeah, so it, it was amazing for me. I did not have to struggle. Um, even though the character I played had all the shades and every character we see, it's, it's so layered. Like, they all have their own insecurities and confidence issues and everything, too. So in that way, it was a, it was a complete experience, yeah. Musun, you said in, a, uh, in an interview that um, Ashik 
briefs actors and writers in a very interesting way. What is this interesting way? What does he do? <laughs> Did they say that? Yeah. He doesn't <laughs> brief. <laughs> well, what does he do, Rima? What does he yeah. do? Yeah. Uh, I know. I mean, uh, Ashik, uh, as a very particular way to, um, you know, uh, I have heard things about the uh, initial script, you know, the first draft uh, we presented to Ashik. Um, uh, 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 we, we we came to hear certain comments about the uh, that, that the first draft from other friends of us that Ashik uh, presented us the script and it was amazing. So we were actually curious what did Ashik say <laughs> because you know we were not so confident about what, uh, the first draft or anything what we had written then and uh, so uh, that's how Ashik present things you know. So uh, yeah, uh, initially I had this. Uh, uh, even I had this doubt how to make it, uh, make it into a movie. You know this whole incident. So, uh, but Ashik was uh, very confident and adamant about making it into a movie. Which will, which uh, I asked him that. But uh, what sort of a movie that you are looking forward to? Like, uh, like a documentary, like a realistic portrayal of the of the whole event, or or or, or an ap apocalypse. You know, like uh, the kind of movie we uh, we are. Uh, so much used to watch, uh, and but he was he wanted a box office hit out of it. So that confidence, you know, uh, that that's the only line he said. You know, that we need we need a box office hit because you know the mass should know what happens and uh, they should have something to take away. You know, so so uh, that that was enough for me from Ashik and uh, and Sham. We, we met Sham, <laughs> and Sham, Sham Pushkaran, you know him, and Sham told me that Ashik is such a director where, <laughs> who, who will give you so much freedom, and so go on, experiment with it. And he yeah, he'll give you so it. much freedom, you, you know. wouldn't know what to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he, he will give you so much freedom that you, you will get confused, <laughs> you know. So, but... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so. Ajay, your co writers are very quiet. We need them to step in here. Yeah, they are not Please quiet. Do that, yes. <laughs> they are not quiet. They are not quiet. Okay, so when the two of you hear a brief like a film on the Nipah virus that needs to be a box office hit, I mean, I'm, that would make me very nervous if I, if I had that brief. Were the two of you nervous at all? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. In a word, no. <laughs> <laughs> you, you knew this, this could be done. You could create enough suspense and enough drama and still make something as grim as this compelling. Yeah, actually, the, everything was there. They, they, what they did was the, uh, to make a chain and a narrative for the entire thing, which is very difficult. But the entire drama the suspense, the investigation, every everything is uh, true only. Yes. Yeah. And uh, Parvati played the character of Dr. Sita of uh, Community Medicine. She investigated the major part. So everything was there, but the difficult part was to make it into a film, which should engage people and run. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah that, that was the challenge. But we had a very big ensemble cast with us, which was also a strategy to attract people and come watch, see, and uh, know what happened in our state. Uh, yeah. So most of them really didn't know. Like, you know, they, there was this whole, whole scare. Uh, they, they knew that the government had taken care of it. But they didn't know what had like we knew the main heroes, but there were so many unsung heroes. There were so many other stories that had to be told. Like even uh, the Dr. Situ's um, um, storyline and her whole investigation is um, was what kind of really got us to the end. So there were all all those things. I think there has been extensive research that has gone into it. Um, I uh, I think Sharfu's met more than hundred people who have worked behind. Uh, you know, when this, when the Nepal attack was happening. Um, so yeah, I think um, so many, so many doctors, so many, uh, like we met the collector, we met the health ministers, 
all these stories. I think it, there was so much information uh, at one point, and then they had to pick out the major um, characters who contributed to it, the, the, the major events that you know led to the next event and to the final uh, outcome. I think that process was quite uh, <laughs> quite something. And yeah, so I think both of them just bounce it to him and he'll say no. Yeah. Or yes. No, that's how it worked, right? So that's <laughs> <laughs> this is a monosyllabic team. <laughs> okay. Rima and Ashik, what are the rules of engagement when partners are creating art? How do you ensure that art and relationship survive? We fight it out. <laughs> <laughs> do you? Parati, do they fight? Uh -huh. Well. <laughs> no, no. In the movie, it's, it's like uh, another process, no? So, <laughs> yeah, we, we fight, obviously. Uh, <laughs> we all fight. I fight with my writers also. Like the struggle's real. Yeah, yeah. struggle's real. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have different opinions, so. We yeah, we fight. <laughs> and who usually wins? How do you resolve creative? Director. Director. director? <laughs> the director's <laughs> word is final. <laughs> no, people, uh, what's fair and what's truth will win. <laughs> That's what wins, right? You know, it does not make any sense otherwise. What so, really works for the film wins. Ashik, this is your 10th film in 10 years. Yeah. Right? And none of your films are similar to each other. Um, how do you choose what to make? It's a very difficult question. <laughs> See, when uh, Nipah outbreak happened in my state, our state, that incident uh, was like, we started writing the script and uh, thinking about the film when the outbreak was going on. There was no, that was not stopped or contained that time. So we were very curious about what is going to happen so that we get the climax. <laughs> so, so that interested me. And I, I like to try different things. I get bored easily doing the same thing. Yeah. But it's also interesting, your footprint. Um, so you produced for Dilish Potan, you produced, and I'm going to completely maul this name, but Mahesh Inte's Pratikaram. Pratikaram. Yeah. So you produced that for him, which is a lovely film. Then he produces Kobalangi Nights, which yeah. is uh, touted as the mm -hmm. film of the year. Yeah. So it's like, you know, your, your sort of nurturing voices, um, who are then nurturing further voices, how important is that for you as an artist? It's very important for me. What I am now is because of my friends, so my colleagues. So it's very important that we we reach out to each other, we help each other. So, and be friendly with, with each other. So, basically I do that. Rest they will do. <laughs> and there are no egos involved in any of this? No, you can't, you can't because it's an art form, so, yeah. Okay, with that, let's open it up, guys. Does anybody have questions? Hi, uh, can you guys, yeah. Uh, I'm Yash, hi, nice to meet you guys. And, uh, hi, sorry. Yash. I'm Yash. Nice to meet you guys. Congratulations on making such a wonderful film. Uh, my question is for the director. I want to know uh, what you got a chance to work with one of the finest cinematographers of the country, uh, Rajiv Ravi. So I just want to know what was your... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm unaware whether you have worked with him before or no, but how was your process? How what was the cinematographic process for the, for the film? Yeah, actually he was my senior in college and we have uh, worked together twice. Uh, first for an uh, advertisement and then uh, for an anthology, uh, Anja Sundarigal. So, yeah, working with him is, I don't know what to say, he's, he's a master and I think he's the most uh, fastest <laughs> cinematographer. <laughs> yeah, so it's very difficult to catch up with him as a director. We finished yeah. shooting in 56 days. Yeah, so Minus. it's very fast and uh, it's, you know, the communication is very, very uh, easy with him. 
so that's it yeah hi uh, my name is jay so uh, as we all clearly know that the motto was telling about the truth what actually happened but at the same time you have to keep in mind that the art form is that well that the people feel like watching it so then what when in a decision making factor uh, what has a heavier side either the art form that it becomes pleasing to the people or other telling the truth which is actually happening on ground basically like we discussed uh, uh, virus is basically a movie uh, that deals with the fear of the other you know so that we can say that i think because uh, if you are of the other means uh, other is alien can be an alien or a foreign component on your body or uh, someone you are not so familiar with or uh, a group of people may not be you are so familiar with and so we call it xenophobia <laughs> so uh, so we we had discussed this in the initial stage of uh, the writing and uh, we uh the kind of um, the, the essence of the movie should be that uh, uh xenophobia all, all kind of fears of fear fears about the other should be annihilated scientifically so that's the that's the essence of the movie that's the essence that we should take from the actual event that happened in kerala so that should be there in the movie then you can make a commercial movie which will be engaging and entertaining for the people preserving that essence in the movie so and i think you guys it. wanted uh, they i think they were very particular that all the people all, all the people who survived the attack or yeah. um, all the, the relatives of all the people who you know who died um they wanted to protect their emotions they yeah. were very clear we wouldn't most importantly most importantly not um you know scar them in any way further you know they're already broken inside um so we looked at that extensively you know for a movie or um for fiction um we were very clear we wouldn't do that uh, at any point we wouldn't sensationalize it and we should actually confess this thing that th there was an element of guiltiness when <laughs> creating this movie which an inescapable element of guilt is there when uh, we are creating a movie out of an actual incident because uh, it demands a lot of sensitivity and we have to protect the morale of the characters uh, the actual uh, people, people. Yeah. who were involved in this and who were victims of this uh, even so uh, it was quite an endeavor to <laughs> be part of this movie you know so for a lot of reasons and if, uh, we were anticipating a lot of uh, reaction different kind of reaction from the audience and uh, from the movie goers uh, from people from political leaders po for those who are active in politics and you know so these are all happening and it will be there you know and we are accountable for that so uh, it's a huge responsibility and we and uh, so i i uh, i was actually uh, <laughs> not so confident about uh, uh feeling being so received yeah. you know and thank you <laughs> <laughs> guys one or two more yeah who has mic yeah uh, my name is punkit i just wanted to ask uh, while shooting for the film were you guys scared ki the virus might uh, spread again <laughs> like while watching the movie the atmosphere was such that I, when someone coughed here i looked back <laughs> it was almost <laughs> like that uh, you should know something right <laughs> okay it was almost like uh, what was that i think this is a compliment yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's a compliment yeah. yes yes yeah. <laughs> yeah it was almost like that movie don't breathe uh, where they were not allowed to speak and then you know somebody's phone rang and the whole theater looked at the, the same happened now so were you guys scared because i just heard you guys saying that it was still while you were writing it it was still uh, ending like uh, you were still uh, confused about the climax right so was it still prevalent there no it's contained actually but the fruit eating bats okay. in kerala in particular area is uh, are the carriers of this virus okay so still uh, the bats are carrying viruses and it will spread during yeah only uh, through a droplet uh, secretions so that's it 
yeah and actually we we shot in the uh, real locations the isolation ward is real where uh, all these uh, nipa positive patients uh, were ad- admitted we shot there uh, we shot uh, the entire medical college campus so yeah we were a little bit <laughs> confused yeah, we, about that we we wore masks <laughs> yeah yeah we wore masks at, at many points yeah we took precautions Uh, yeah thank you also so much. just another point about unni krishnan's character this i heard from saubin who acted as unni krishnan in one of the very first interviews after our release is that there is a shot where he falls on the floor and uh, yeah it's right after he fell on the floor and did that shot that he realized this is an actual location i mean he and he freaked out he's <laughs> like oh i was so natural and like oh no now what yeah Uh, this is for writer and director how do you see the comparison between the chernobyl and virus because both deals with the same thing the survival and the no, root no, cause no it's not the same thing <laughs> chernobyl and virus is it's no not it's not uh, uh, actually the same but the writing and the way it proceeds everything uh, i see i saw many comparisons you you mean the treatment yeah yeah yes oh, okay actually chernobyl happened after <laughs> Yeah, yeah yeah I don't know how it came. <laughs> yeah uh, Chernobyl released after we shot virus yeah, so it's I don't know no no uh, it's not about the plagiarism it's about actually the compl- no no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, uh, actually yeah, we I answered you that we, uh, yeah uh, thank you for that but we we don't know what how that happened we just went through the flow and whatever we felt like treating the movie Uh, but thank you for comparing <laughs> <laughs> this is with respect to every malayalam movie which i see kumbhali nights or even other movies how are you uh, all of you are doing so better so the average benchmark there is very much high than in bollywood what we see here so what are you guys doing what are your references and what are your aspirations because matlab i see if i talk about indian cinema today malayalam and tamil they are doing far away, way ahead than bollywood so what is the core reason behind that i want to ask you and this is with across all of your films <laughs> yeah what do you read and what do you watch like <laughs> what do you <laughs> eat ashik <laughs> exactly i mean it's it's with all of the movies no no everywhere there are good movies and bad movies no we all we also have bad movies no but average benchmark i see we also make ahead, equally bad movies in bollywood which you make here <laughs> yeah we we try to dumb dumb our movies down and we like you know i do get a sense ki the average viewer in malayalam is way higher than our yeah audience is very different there they won't let you go without uh, you know so they people come to theaters if they like the content they don't look at the star uh, they look at the writers they look at the d- director who is doing it and what are uh, what are the the uh, issues they are talking about so uh, people are very intelligent or, or there so yeah, they make us do, <laughs> they make us do good work they force us they force us they force us they force us you can't get away <laughs> with shit there no, yeah, no. Yeah, you it's can't play easy. wrong games but as a creators what, what are you aspiring because you all work in each other's movies you produce each other so uh, as a creative what, what what is your aim to get you people speaking like this <laughs> we love to hear that no no uh, we all were audience uh, before uh, ten or eight years back so then we saw malayalam movies and we thought why are this uh, uh, stars and uh, directors doing low low key works why we have good cinema in our past we have good writers very good filmmakers in our past so we should model that so we learn from our ancestors and our uh, the great uh, people uh, are forcing us to do good work otherwise they will come to our houses <laughs> they value uh, they keep value for their money and they they ask us you know they demand excellent on that happy note or do you have a question my question sir is to actors rima kalingal and 
Parvati ma'am. So, how, what was your experience regarding portraying such characters which were real in life? Uh, just to bring that feel and all. So, what was your experience? Just share among us. You want to take Lini because... Yeah, for me it was quite an experience because Sister Lini was a hero. Mm -hmm. uh, the letter that uh, you saw, you know, that was read out, um, I think that was extensively shared on social media and she was like the darling, you know, like of, of Kerala. So while I was put, I mean, I really was shit scared. Um, mainly because uh, I guess this is the final picture that everybody will have of her. Um, because her body was not given to her relatives, um, to her family. Uh, she was in isolation. Um, so all of that, the, everybody is going to see this. This is what they're going to take away her, about her, her, of her memories of, of her last days. That's a huge responsibility. That's a huge responsibility. I, I quite, yeah, it was quite something for me. And, you know, to go through somebody's last days, what, would she be thinking? What would her state of mind be at that point, knowing that she won't be able to see her kids, her pa her husband, or you know anybody? You know, so like you have to process that. Yeah. So for me, it was quite something. Yeah. Like I felt same as the when your narration was going. I felt the same when I read the letter long back ago. Yeah. It was like same. Thank, Thank you. you. Arvati so for you. Much. <laughs> No, I mean, I, I was still crying when her scenes were coming on and she's like, you're watching it for the third time, man. Like, it's still, I'm like, can't, like, it's choking. Because again, Lini's sister's photo and uh, letter were the first ones that we received and, you know, start, started understanding the depth of it. A Dr. Situ, on whom my character was mainly based, um, I had the fortune of, you know, the writers giving me enough and more material, but also got to spend about a day and a half with her. And uh, she was very generous with her time. I went to her house. I spoke to exactly how she w was with um, her children and her husband. And she shared her proper, like actual notes as to like where all she scribbled. Uh, she mentioned that it's just her cu curiosity that drove her, that her father always inculcated that thing that you must always be curious in life. And so for me, that was the one hook for Anu. Because for me, it did not matter, to be honest, I didn't know the arc of the script. I would just get the scene before, like, I have never worked like that. <laughs> I have not. Writers? Yes. <laughs> That's a compliment. It's the massive trust I have in them. It's just that I just, like, completely surrendered that they know what's happening. I just need to focus on Anu's storyline. And uh, I, there was a lot of meat uh, for me to, like, chew into. Yeah, so that was fun. Uh, I think before closing, there's one thing we wanted to say. Um, we were we were standing outside while you, while you guys were watching the film, and Sharfu was telling me, if this audience actually understands the movie by reading the subtitles and watching the movie at the same time, hats off to them. So I yeah, guess hats you know, off to you guys. <laughs> you thank you guys. Uh, it, it's a very heavy loaded film. Thank you. Thank you for engaging. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and we will try our best to uh, do the subtitles more, you know. Like better? Uh, yeah, more better. better, next better time, yeah. 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 It was so little, sweet. yeah. We know we have a great audience here, so we we'll, we'll You try do, our best. you yeah. do. There is a great audience for you. From Thank you. Next so time, much. we'll make sure that the subtitles are good. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anupama. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.